a beautiful warm sunny afternoon here in Bangalore and I'm at the SPT Sports Academy to bring you on Z Sports coverage of the Kingfisher National Corporate Fives football tournament. The SPD Sports Management Private Limited have pioneered the concept of integrated sports management in India and are among the fastest growing companies in sports management. SPT along with Kingfisher brings you the Corporate Fives Futsal Tournament in Bangalore. Now it's been a weekend of a lot of fun, revelry and some high class sports action. But let's first understand a little bit about Football Fives and I got a chance to speak with Amit Saran the CEO of SPT Sports. A uh, five-a-side football is internationally known as futsal. It's uh, under the FIBA rules and it's a much smaller ground, almost one-fifth of the normal uh, football ground, 130 by 70 feet. And the goalposts are smaller, 10 feet by 6 feet. The ball actually is also smaller and heavier so that it doesn't bounce much because the ground is small. And uh, these are the basics uh, of a corporate futsal five-a-side that we follow and which are international rules. And uh, then as it says five aside, that means five players playing, three substitutes and there's a rolling substitution in this, meaning that players can change their positions anytime uh, they feel like, they can come in and go out, of course after telling the referee. These are the basic difference in five aside football than the normal football. Okay, let's uh, let's try and understand a little bit about the rules. Now, how how many halves? I mean, there are two halves, obviously, but how long are these halves? Yeah, okay, there there are uh, two halves of 15 minutes each with a five-minute break, and uh, as I said, rolling substitution. Players can come and go out anytime. The ball uh, is normal. Uh, otherwise, everything is normal. As far as the game goes, if it's a tied game at the end of the half hour, then what happens? Uh, again, it goes for a tiebreaker. Uh, Three players are uh, to take the penalty kick and actually whosoever scores the maximum number of goals during the penalty kick day. And in case again, there's a, in case there's a tie again, then uh, the players who have been on the field, they get the opportunity first uh, and then later on the substitutes come in. And Let's talk about this academy of yours now. It's absolutely something very special. It's very nice. The SPT Academy, uh, it's a dream of yours come true. Tell us about it and what exactly you do offer out here. Uh, basically, uh, this thing is just out of passion. Uh, I have put in 21 years of service in, co in corporate world. I don't know how I came into sports, but I have been a sports person myself. And slowly and gradually, we started doing events for kids, schools. And uh, we saw a great response uh, in Bangalore. And then in 98, we had left my job, dedicated myself to sports promotion. And in 2004, we started this academy. Uh, we, we offer football and golf here, basically to beginners and uh, we want to nurture talent here. That is the core reason why we set up this academy. And as far as looking forward, what are some of the things that you have in mind for the academy? Uh, replicating these academies across India in different cities, more so in towns uh, like Indore, Jaipur, Nagpur, maybe Pune also. because. I have seen, I have travelled a lot uh, with sports activities and I've, if I really find uh, that there's tremendous amount of talent but it's not been tapped. Why? Uh, I would not like to go more into it but there's, we have to nurture that, we have to carefully take it to the next level in India. The Kingfisher Corporate Fives 2008 Futsal Tournament had six teams taking part. The teams that reached the final round robin of this tournament were Genpak from Delhi, Wipro from Pune, HSBC from Hyderabad, HDFC Bank Mumbai, Tesco Bangalore and Cognizant Chennai. Apart from the tournament, Kingfisher also had an October Fest, putting into practice its King of Good Times motto. Well with me is Gurpreet Singh from Kingfisher. Gurpreet, great tournament. Explain the concept to us and the brand match. Good afternoon Mohit, it's good to have you here. Well I'll tell you a little bit about the brand before we get into the tournament. Kingfisher has been a glamorous, stylish and fun brand known for its good times and we've always supported events and activities which reflect these good times so at times that's been with fashion and music and at times with events like this which is you know fun sporting events. Uh, Corporate Five started a couple of years ago for the last three years we said it's being successful everybody loves the tournament let's make it bigger let's make it national 
So for the last three years we've had it in a format which is national and winners from each of these six, seven cities where we do the tournament come to Bangalore to face off and uh, one then finally gets crowned the national winner. And the surprise we have for this year's uh, national winner is they all get a little holiday to uh, Sri Lanka on our expense and have some more good times at our expense. So. Okay, great. Now let's talk about the new brand you launched, Kingfisher Blue. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, it's early days. We've just launched it in uh, Bombay uh, uh, in the end of September and it's just got introduced in Karnataka, rolling into the rest of Maharashtra. But uh, initial reports have been very, very encouraging. People uh, love the beer, love the packaging and it's different beer. It's a very premium uh, look and premium taste. I'm sure it'll do very, very well. It's well, you know, I've, I had it at the Oktoberfest last night, so take from the horse's mouth, it is very good. Okay, Gurpreet, we're matching off against each other a little later in the CEO celebrity game. What do you expect there? We expect we will beat you big time. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll take a short break and come back with that and plenty more here at the Kingfisher Corporate Football Fives on Z Sports. Welcome back to the Corporate Five, sponsored by Kingfisher. Now, if you're wondering why I've changed, this is not a Hindi movie. I'm just getting ready for my game, the CEOs versus celebrities. I'm playing for the celebrities, of course. But, you know, Saturday night was the Oktoberfest, also sponsored by Kingfisher. And I can tell you, I had a blast. Now, some of the images are not for the faint-hearted. So, parents, cover your children's eyes before you watch this. October hangover here in Bangalore. It is the 1st of November, but it is the Oktoberfest. It's all happening right behind me. The new music, the new Kingfisher beer, and a lot of fun. edition of the Oktoberfest Bangalore. The Reisbacher Musikanten would like to come in a band in a procession so they have just left the hall. tradition to bring the Oktoberfest uh, to Bangalore. Mr. Huber, eight years ago, he uh, is a Bavarian politician, came to Bangalore and he saw that this is a real wonderful ground, wonderful people to organize the Oktoberfest. And since then, eight years ago, every year we have the Oktoberfest. In Bavaria, you need to celebrate uh, the 175th Oktoberfest. This is the age and it's a matter of time that Bangalore will catch up with Munich to have also a wonderful Oktoberfest. And how's the beer this evening? Wonderful. The beer is great, the beer is cold, uh, the music is great. The young musicians came this morning at 4 o'clock from Germany, so they are no, no sparing themselves. It's, it's wonderful, the people are wonderful. And some very beautiful ladies are here as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Many ladies, also Indian ladies, are dressed in Bavarian um, uh, dresses and, um, and uh, custom. Uh, and, and I think it's a wonderful, it's going to be a wonderful evening for all of us. Whitney is sissy. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. Okay. But tonight I'm sissy. But tonight you're yeah, sissy. Sissy more. All right, sissy more. Are you having a nice time? I'm having a fantastic time. This is the event of the year in Bangalore. I always look forward to this event every year. Okay, Sissy Mo, I have a question. You're wearing a sash. Yeah. What does that symbolize? Okay, if you wear it on the right side, it means you are married. Okay. You are married on the right <laughs> side. Right. But if you wear it on the left side, 